Right, so what's going on guys? So today, it's going to be the meta video. I saw a lot of you guys asking for it, wanting it. Um, so yeah, I'm here I am making it. I've played about 50 games now. Uh, I feel like I've got a good judgment of the game and kind of what's good and what isn't. Um, my opinion on the game is it's, it's alright. I think there's it's definitely better than FIFA 20, definitely. Um, there's a lot of good things that have been brought back in. and But there's also bad things that I don't like. Um, so I'm going to kind of cover just a broad, broad kind of general stuff of what I think is good, what I think is bad, and what you guys should be doing in FIFA 21 so far. Right, so I've got a list. I apologise, I'm a terrible content creator, but my memory's terrible and I need to do it. I'm going to start on the bad, only because I want to end it on a positive note. I don't want to end it on a negative note. I believe in positivity, so yeah, I want to end it on a positive. So, right, so first point is defending with midfielders is better than defending with your actual defenders. Now for me, I genuinely find if I let my back four just sit, and I have my two DMs or maybe even my wide cams or my wide like left mid right mids. If I just defend with them, people don't really get through. It's kind of the same as every year. Um, I, I don't know what they can do to resolve it. I, I know they have tried because they've, they've risen the depth of the team and stuff like that. I don't necessarily think this is maybe even the game's fault. I might, it might just be the way FIFA plays. I don't know. But I, I'm finding that frustrating sometimes. I'm finding it hard to break some people down. Um, but yeah, that's one. Um, next point is one-two passing is really overpowered. Um, I think personally it's too strong. I don't think in real life you would ever see what happens on 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 the FIFA. It's it's crazy. Not necessarily saying that's a bad thing for me. I personally believe in the fact that the game shouldn't be based around realistic things because realistic football is kind of boring. A lot of teams park the bus while the other one has a lot of possession, and I don't want that in FIFA at all. I just think it needs to be toned down a bit. I feel like a lot of people are creating passing plays that probably aren't what they're intending to do in so i think the, the pass actually needs to be brought down a little bit um but overall i actually like it as an addition i just think it needs to be toned down um the next one which i think argues the biggest point um is that pace matters way too much i mean i can have players who have 90 pace and can't kick a football but are still incredible in the game just because of how quick they are that's it that's, that's all they're good at um I personally just think that it shouldn't be like that. Um, I like that. I I would rather there be a bit more skill in dribbling and and doing skill moves and passing plays and crossing. Like I want more creativity brought out in person. Not oh run in a straight line and you'll beat most of the players. Um, so for me personally, I like that to be toned down as well. Um, whether it will or not, I don't know. I kind of feel like that's kind of what the theme they've gone for this year. But there we go. That's kind of. What will be, will be. Um, next point, it's just my second to last point. It's over the top through balls are just way too accurate. I mean, I could have a right back who's got 40 long passing, who can launch a ball 60, 70 yards and land it on Salah's foot. Like, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy how just how accurate it is. Um, I, and also, you can even have ones where, say, Ronaldo's facing away from goal. So, the goal's there, he's facing that way, right? He can receive the ball and play a first time over the top through ball but basically curls 180 degrees around his body into someone's path, which sh should never, ever happen. I don't I don't care that it should never happen. It's way too overpowered. It's just too much, in my opinion, you know. It's just too much. Um, so that, again, I just tone it down. Um, like I said, there's nothing here where I'm like, right, this needs to be removed from the game. There's nothing like that. Actually, no, I've got one more point after this one. So, there's two left. Sorry, not not this one. This isn't the last one. The next one is high shot power players score shots so they shouldn't score. Um, this is basically just down, I think, to the fact that last year, shot power didn't really seem too relevant. I think it was just you hit it near the hit near post and it went in regardless of how much power on it. But they put it to a point now, anyone over 9 plus shot power can cannon the ball. Uh, and they just it just goes into a ridiculous kind of... It's ridiculous, honestly. Um, I've scored some goals. I've got Ronaldo in my, my rivals, in my foot team. And the, some of the shots he scores are bonkers. Like, I can't believe it. Um, so, again, it, like I said, it's just a toned down thing. I just need it to kind of chill. Just try and balance it out a bit more. It's more just a balance issue than anything. I know it's a new game. So, there's new there's little things that are going to be bugged. And then the last one, and it's up there with probably the, the pace, is the RB dribbling. If you're RB dribbling on this game... You're impossible to tackle. Impossible. Like, people can... You can just RB, waddle around it. If, even if a defender gets a foot to it, the ball's so close to your body, it just rebounds back to you anyway. Um, 
So, so they need to add a bit more. I, I don't even know what it would be, but it, it, when defenders tackle you, the ball needs to fly out a bit more. It can't be stuck to your body because I'm in the box and I'm just doing RB dribbling and I don't lose the ball. Um, so yeah, so that's that's another one. Um, so that's kind of that's all the bad points really. Like I don't have anything else too bad. Like I said, there's nothing that needs that's broken or needs to be taken out of the game. I just think some stuff needs to be balanced out a bit. Um, like I said, I feel like I've got a good understanding of the game. I'm 45 and five, so like I said, I've got a good, a decent record. Do you know what I mean? I'm not not too bad. Um, but yeah, now positives, and, and there are some really good positives with this game. Like there are. So right, so the first one, finishing seems consistent. For the first time I've ever played FIFA, every way of scoring a goal seems balanced. There isn't one type of way where on FIFA 18 it was low driven. FIFA 19, I think it was, it was the 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 green volleys and the El Tornado's shots and crosses, or even FIFA 20 it was near post. There's not there's nothing like that. I think depending on the situation you create, every way of scoring is viable, which is the first time I've seen that happen in a long, long, long time. Um, so yeah, I think that that stat is a really good thing. I think. If EA can keep this going throughout the get throughout the year and throughout the FIFAs, I think we'll be in a really good place for that. So finishing, big positive for me. Um, this is kind of tying in with that, but chips chips are viable this year. Now in real life, I personally think a lot of the time when someone's one on one, you'll see people kind of run to near to the goal and dink it over and it'll roll in. I think that's a lot of the way people finish on in real life. So I've been crying out for this for ages. I feel like it's a big way of scoring in real football and I feel like it should have been an effective way to score on this game as well. Um, so the fact that that's been introduced, massive positive for me personally. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, now, skill moves, you can finally chain them and they're good. They're quick, they're effective, which is massive. I think it brings back a lot of fun to the game. I feel like last year's skill moves were boring. You couldn't really do much, so it was quite dry. It was quite dead. Um, now, I've got a list of skill moves for you guys that are good that I think are work. They're the, I'm a massive skill person. If you haven't, go watch your streams. I stream every day. Twitch.tv slash touch underscore FIFA. Um, I'm a massive skill person. A lot of the chat love it. Um, and I've kind of been introducing people to how, how to use skill moves, stuff like that. So there's five. Five skill moves that I think are vital. If, if five tough skills, so you've got Elastico. The Elastico, or people call it the flip-flap, right? It's genuinely the best skill move in the game. Bar maybe the Cricketer now. Uh, the second one, lack of care. If you do a first time fake shot into a lack of, in lack of care, you get a massive speed boost when you're running onto the ball. Um, and a lot of the time, the defender, because the defenders are so clunky this year, you beat them very well. Um, so, Coquette is a really good one. Scoop turns, so standing or running, both still really effective. Great way to get onto both feet to score across goal or near, po or near post. It's a great skill move. Heel to heel. Again, it's a great way to just get that burst past the player. And then... I'm undecided between the fifth. It's either the, the first time, like the stopping fake shot, because it sets up a lot of other fake shots for you, or it's the fake Rabona, which again is similar. It just stops the ball so you can kind of get a lot of speed boosts and things like that. Or it's the new brig, bridge dribble they've rang in. So that's when you're on the ball, you double tap RB, and it basically knocks the ball around your defender, which with pace being introduced this year is such a big overpower kind of thing. Um, I think that, is really really overpowered in certain situations that's why i wouldn't that's why i put it in the good not the bad because i think it's only it's only really overpowered when you use it right um right so next point defending is more manual now you may think this is completely contradicting to the first point i made about defending with midfielders is better which it it is but when you have to defend with that back four you can't rely on the defenders to just jockey and block everything and tackle everything for you because they're so clunky almost and so useless, you have to use them. So when you're in that one-on-one -on -one situation, the game won't bail you out. You have to be able to do stuff yourself. So yeah, defending more manual in a way, which I think is better. I'm, I'm happy with that for sure. And then the last point of the good ones, dribbling is improved massively. Left stick's good. The RB dribbling is too OP. If they tone that down, it'd be balanced. But yeah, dribbling's great. I think dribbling is one of the biggest skill gap makers in the game. Um, and I feel like it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be easy like it was last year. Um, so yeah, drib dribbling's better as well. So yeah, like I said, th this has kind of been my good and bad. Um, I hope you guys kind of learn some stuff from this. Hopefully, it will help you guys in the future. I'm going to bring you tutorials, coaching content, all sorts of stuff. So 
stay tuned obviously like subscribe comment all that good stuff we're trying to hit 500 subs so i'd appreciate any support you guys can um and i'll see you guys in the next one peace boys